I'm to round up some Deceptor scum. I hold Grimlock. Away! Me, Grimlock, think you heavy! Well, it has been three years. I have put on some weight. So many Energon cubes for those Michael Bay after parties. <laughs> I eat those things till I explode. Which happens at every Michael Bay party. Me, Grimlock, me, Chiropractor! Get your Transformers figures at BigBadToyStore.com. Link is in the description. Oh, man, kids. It's time for you. What up, big kids? Here's your big review of the Transformers Age of Extinction Leader First Edition Optimus Prime movie figure. Yay, Transformers reviews return. And here we got the new packaging of the new Age of Extinction line. Well, this is the first edition, so we won't know until about Toy Fair if this is how it's going to look. But you can see here it does have some interesting tidbits like... What is that? Dinobot Grimlock? Class 1 Destroyer? What could that be in the corner? But a really cool picture of Prime nevertheless. It says Transformers along the side of their Transformers Age of Extinction logo. First edition Optimus Prime. One side of the box has the Autobot logo. It says Transformers and continues that picture. Their side of the box is just white with a cool Autobot logo. The top of the box is just red with that same cool Autobot logo but with white over here. Back here has a nice picture of Prime. It says here in the corner Changes in 15 steps. I'm gonna hold you to that, Hasbro. I'm gonna hold you to that. And you can see here a really cool picture in both modes. But an interesting thing it says Sword of Judgment, Sentinel Shield, over 10 inches tall for the ladies. You can actually open this up with a Velcro right here. The inside cover has the new Transformers 4 logo and it says Age of Extinction. Here you have a nice window display of Prime being held together by that new Hasbro rope that they've been using and shows his vehicle. What time is it? Prime time! And here we got the Transformers Age of Extinction Leader First Edition Optimus Prime in his vehicle mode. So this is Optimus Prime's new Trek mode. It's not a Peterbilt anymore. It's a Western Star truck. Um, I prefer the Peterbilt, but this one is pretty cool. Um, by the way, uh, Charmus Prime did an awesome review of this guy, also comparing it to the Revenge of Fallen. Uh, leader Prime's uh, vehicle mode, so check that out because I'm not transforming that to compare it. But anyway, um, there is some nice details. One thing I like that they have rubber tires. I do wish the chrome was right here on, I do like the Autobot symbols on the rims, but it's chrome. But I do like the rubber tires. I was like, oh my god, rubber tires, we don't see that anymore, even on Masterpiece Transformers. But um, yeah, the windshield here on the side windows are just painted blue. I wish that they were actual translucent windows and it's more red uh i mean more blue than red at least for the flames i prefer more red just like china's prime uh said western star right there and a nice silver uh nice um silverish paint a gray paint right here the smokestacks though are this dull gray plastic i wish that they were the chrome i don't know why they wouldn't be but whatever but yeah the nice silver paint right there and shiny look at that nice chrome grill it's super shiny that's i think the chrome should always be on the grill of an optimus prime figure and then the silver paint apps love that chrome autobot symbol and you can see here you see he has the blue translucent windows but you see all his robot parts right in there so that's the only bad thing but yeah i mean still pretty cool i love the silver paint right here on the top i think this should have been chrome too but that's just my preference and on the back here, there's a big gap um, that's not hiding there. I don't know why. They could have figured out something, but uh, whatever. I, I don't design these things. They do a better job than I would ever do. But yeah, it's just blue plastic on the back here. I think there should have been more detail in here, but they have the Western style here. By the way, there is a trailer hitch. And if you're wondering, you can kind of trailer hitch the MP10 Optimus Prime trailer with this Prime, but it doesn't really work. It doesn't line up at all. I don't know if... Hasbro decided to make a trailer in the future that will be something, an attachment, or the original plan for one, but it looked like it was made for one, but it's, it kind of works for this one, but not really. It does work with the two accessories. You get his Sentinel shield, and I don't know if that's meant because he got this off of Sentinel Prime after he brutally murdered him in the last movie. Anyway, um, this one has a, some silver bits uh, painted on here with this nice yellow energy uh, she'll go on here. You can see here it has a peg right here and it actually is meant to peg into the trailer hitch part back here for weapon storage which is cool. I do um, enjoy that they have some weapon storage even though 
he would never have this kind of big shield. If he's trying to be a robot in the skies, well, we have a giant energy shield. And you get the Sword of Judgment. I don't know why it's called that, because it judges you. I think you're fat, Sean. What? I've lost weight. Yes, you're fat. Stop judging me, man. Stop judging me. Anyway, um, yeah, so it has some silver bits and that same orange shield, translucent plastic. I do like them. Now, there's this big peg right here. Now, it has some weapon storage on the back. It's actually one of the 15 steps, which I'll get in here. But the way that you put this in here, you just actually put it in his crotch, or this is meant to be his crotch. And I don't know why that peg, you can use it for... Yeah, so it does roll really nicely, even with that um, sword in here. Well, it rolls okay. It should roll a little bit better. I don't know why it doesn't roll as smoothly. And you get this instruction manual, which is the shortest instruction manual for a leader class figure I've ever seen. It does say it only has 15 steps, which I actually will show you how to transform this on camera from a vehicle to robot, where this one only shows robot to vehicle. Since they simplified the transformation, I'm gonna actually show you how to do it on screen. One of the steps is actually take off the shield. The other step, take off the sword. Oh my gosh. And then the next step here is actually you would take out these parts right here and you print it like that. Then you would take the front part right here and you can see, oh look, hi Prime Peekaboo. So you fold this in to the back like so. Then you take these side pieces right here. Whoop. So take them out like that, and then you actually fold these in like that. Very easy. I actually prefer that it's actually easier than the freaking Revenge of the Fallen Leader one, even though that's a better figure. Then you would just take the legs right here, separate them, and then you see these parts right here. You bring them down. So bring them down, and then these actually fold in like that, fold in like that, then you fold these in, fold these in, then you actually bring down his legs, bring down his legs, his torso right here, you actually uh, bring down his arms like that, fold them out, bring, oops, sorry, bring them out, fold them out, and then bring this up, then you just simply see the body right here, fold it in. And here we got Transformers Age of Extinction Optimus Prime in robot mode. Definitely the weaker of the two modes. Not bad, but definitely not great. Let's take a closer look. Now the head sculpt is pretty good on this. Um, it does have the mouth version of Prime. I, I prefer the more mass, like face mass of Prime. It always looked cooler. That's what made Prime Prime. Um, one thing that is cool, he does have really good light piping, um, which I'm trying to show here. It, it works really good. Uh, so I'm glad that they kept the light piping. Like I said, it's pretty good uh, paint on here. Pretty, uh, you know, I think they could have had some more on the ear section. I always thought the ears were, anyway. But yeah, the chrome is pretty highlighted on this figure in robot mode. It's very shiny, which I'm always a fan of chrome. Uh, it definitely looks great on here. You can see uh, how much it reflects. And it's cool that it's red and blue and silver chrome, not just silver. Um, it even has it here on the shoulder pieces. I'll get to this horrendous backpack here in a bit. The abs are also pretty nice. He has this kind of, you know, crotch flap thing going on, which, you know, I, uh, just like, I don't know, that's, he's more Samurai Prime, I guess, I don't know. But um, yeah, the blue on here and the legs look really good. I really do like the chrome a lot. And the legs, the bottom part of the legs, there's no chrome on the feet. I kind of wish that there was. Uh, but not too bad and then the flames that from um, the truck mode and yeah the hands uh, I think this could have used a little bit more chrome especially for what you're paying for um, but yeah like the the sculpting is pretty decent I think I mean it's not it definitely looks good um, in the front part however this is the definition of a back former now I know because of the simplified transformation uh, they had to do this route and uh, it just, uh, I don't know, it's like I don't think it's terrible, but I definitely, it, uh, it, it definitely doesn't look as cool as like say the Revenge of Fallen Optimus Prime, but you know, that one had a way more complex transformation. But the, if you kind of look at it this way, I mean the, also another thing, I, I, like I said, I wish that these were chrome, the smokestacks. Um, it, it definitely looks more like a cool kind of like rocket pack if you kind of use your imagination. I kind of think of it as a jet pack with these parts being like the thrusters right here. Except you kind of lose that illusion when you look at it in the back. If they kind of painted the innards to make it look more jet packy, 
I think it would have looked cooler. I wouldn't have mined it so much. For articulation, Prime's head can uh, move less right, can fully rotate, no up and down movement, which sucks. The arms can fully rotate, but it will hit the backpack for sure right here. You can lift the um, uh, shoulder pads so you can go in and out the nice ratchety joints. He does have double jointed elbows, which is great, and also it rotates at the elbow. No wrist articulation though, that sadly. No waist articulation at all or any upper ab. The leg, uh, this does move up so you can move the legs forward. And it could go back, but it hits this part right here. Um, it does go in and out of nice ratchety joints. Um, it does rotate at the knee as well as bend at a good 90 degree knee joint, which I do like a lot as well. And the ankles are on ball joints, so they do uh, pivot forward and back, have that ankle pivot. Uh, the only problem is like with the articulation, I mean, you can do some cool poses, but it's like that, since it's ratchety, it's gonna be either really well spaced or it's gonna be more like standing straight. Prime's weapons are made for this mode versus his vehicle mode. So you can place sword in this hand, which does work very nicely uh, because of wrist, no wrist articulation. Yeah, you're kind of limited in some of the poses. Now, for the shield, there's two ways. He can either, because of this peg, you can either hold on like this, which makes it kind of like a disc tr throwing weapon. And it's like, you can have him, sh it's kind of like a big ass like shield gun. So you can have it like that, but actually there's a peg or a hole right here for that peg. So it's mostly, I think, be better when you move it like this. And there, like that makes it look a lot better. What do you think of my new body? I have more chrome than Google. Optimus, what happened to you? You're so shiny. Uh, my eyes, I can't see. I'm, I'm blind. Hey, what are you doing here? Weren't you replaced by Marky Mark? Shouldn't you be out plagiarizing a comic book or something? No, 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 no. I don't know how to say other words besides no or how to plagiarize. I'm going to retire from the internet. Size comparison time. So here you can see that the new leader of Age of Extinction Optimus Prime is slightly smaller than the Revenge of Fallen Leader Prime. If you count the head, if you count the backpack, he is taller, but yeah. Um, and he's the same size as the Masterpiece MP10 uh, Optimus Prime. Now for our first Transformers Age of Extinction figure, it is definitely a little underwhelming. It's okay at best. Um, I do like the chrome that they put on this premium first edition figure. I don't know if that means that if we get a, another version of this mold, they won't have the chrome, which would suck, and I hope it would be way cheaper because at 60 bucks, I feel like you're not really getting what you're paying for. Even with the chrome, I I think this is a $40 figure at best. One thing I really miss about the leader figures is having some sort of electronic talking feature. I always like that, uh, especially having like some sound clips um, and light up effects. I'm a sucker for that, but this figure doesn't have that, and I think for the price, you should have that. Um, the articulation is pretty good on this figure. The transformation is way easier, and if you hated the complex transformation of, say, the Revenge of Fallen Line, you'll definitely prefer this. And it'll definitely be easier for the parents and kids to transform. If you like more complex transformations and you want more screen accurate representations of um, the figures from the movie, uh, then yeah, you won't like this at all. You'll probably want to pass on this. If you uh, have the Revenge of Fallen, Buster Prime, or Jetfire Prime, then that version is definitely way better than this. If you um, want to have every single version of Prime and you don't care that not as a complex transformation or has the big backpack, then I would say get it. Like I said, if you have that Buster Prime, I don't, I, I say that's the best version. You don't need this version at all. And for 60 bucks, uh, I would wait for this to, to go down in price. I don't think it's worth it. I'm giving away a Hot Toys Mandarin figure for me and Sideshow Collectibles. So if you want to win that figure, a link is in the description. I want to thank John 3.0 for voicing Optimus Prime in the review. Subscribe to him. Link is in the description. And uh, for more reviews and more, check out my website at seanxlong.com and at hugenerd.net. I'm Sean Long. Remember to live long and love life. Check out Sean Long. Jason David Frank. Tommy the Green Ranger. <laughs> oh, I'm such a shell former. What do I look like, a ninja turtle? Man, this new body is really hollow. Next thing you know, they'll replace my voice with Kevin Bacon and call me Hollow Man. Then they'll replace your voice with Sean Connery from Dragonheart. Me, I'm the last of me kind. Me still am best part of Super Bowl. Yeah, that game was a bigger blowout than one of Michael Bay's movies.